This is Agave Perrier Variety Truncata. So it's a very beautiful succulent. It's a very slow growing succulent native to North Mexico, Arizona, and I think New Mexico. Uh, so technically not a California native, but it does really well in our climates for being drought tolerant. Um, I went ahead and bought a big boy. This is a 15 gallon. It was probably $120, $150, where this little guy was way less. But because it's such a slow growing plant, I think it's worth investing in this and getting the bigger one because it's gonna be the center of this garden here where I might have to wait probably five years or so for it to get to this size. So not, it's not worth it. Um, I am planting this agave a little tall. I'm gonna try and do it gracefully because if you see the thorns on these things, they are really sharp and they like, they're very intense. It pokes through its own leaves. Um, but they're really beautiful and it has this gray blue foliage which is actually makes it more drought tolerant because it reflects the light back but most importantly for this planting design it fits my color scheme so so this guy is shooting out a baby i don't really want the babies i want it to be one symmetrical beautiful succulent centerpiece so this guy's gonna go there you go and he can be planted somewhere else so I'm removing all the pups because I want this to be an individual specimen plant in the center of my garden. These are beautiful. They'll make their own happy plants separately, but by me pulling them off, that allows this to be the star. They don't pop like crazy, but enough that it would crowd it up and I don't really want it to. So agaves can reproduce in a few ways. It can put out pups like this, which is basically a genetic clone, or at the end of its life, it puts up a giant stalk, like 12 feet tall, full of beautiful flowers, like yellow and orange. But the sad thing is, is after that big old display, Play, it actually dies. So if you start seeing your agaves um, put out this big stalk, you can actually save them from dying by cutting off their um, big stalk of flower. So it's something to keep an eye out for because these puppies aren't cheap, especially the older ones because they're so slow growing. So you might consider kind of prolonging their life a little bit. So I'm using actually a citrus and palm mix mixed in with this native soil here. Basically citrus and avocados and palms like good drainage too, so it's a safe soil to use with any succulents. I'm planting this one a little bit higher than I normally would because I'm gonna put like an art feature around it on a little bit of a mound. But if you were just planting this in level ground, you'd probably still have it a little bit higher, maybe two inches higher because you're gonna come through with either gravel or mulch around it, I'm sure. So you wanna keep that in mind when planting it. You certainly don't want it sunken into the soil because if the leaves of this are always moist, it's gonna rot out and you're gonna get root rot. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Agave Perii Truncata is one of my favorite agaves. Hope you love it too. If you have more information on this plant, please comment below. Thanks guys, happy planting.